Welcome to the Shikama Live Show with your host, Shikama. Robots. Sterilizing rooms with almost 100% efficiency. Any links that I provide are affiliate links, uh, which means that I will get a little bit of a kickback when it costs nothing more to you. It's simply, I'm simply paid through the marketing of the links. Uh, Western medicine and Western mainstream media are reluctant to report that there are certain lights that can sterilize rooms in seconds. But before I get into the report, you need this in your home right now. Not the full robot, which costs hundreds of thousands of dollars, but the actual light technology. So here's a couple of things that I have curated. Number one, the Wilvor Will Love Sterilizer Light Professional UVC Light with Remote Control Sanitizing by we love the link will be in the description and in the comment section folks i don't know if you know this but we're going through some hard times now of course they responded with having fundraisers for everybody else i asked for a fundraiser and people curse me out so just donate twenty dollars uh, at uh, paypal.me slash chicama or cash.app slash dollar sign Shikama. Either one is good. We're going to need about $80 to make sure that I'm still going to be able to actually make videos for you. And thank you everybody who has actually responded so far. Here we go. Uh, the capacity of 38 watts is suitable for a 10 to 25 square meter space. If you don't know what meters are, you can convert that on the uh, converter. Meters into feet. I guess living room, bedroom or a household space. So you simply close the doors or even if it's an open space, you, you just put it in there. Uh, 15 minutes, rapid sterilization and disinfection. Germicidal light uh, produces ozone during work. You know about ozone, right? Ozone can sterilize places where ultraviolet light cannot. But ozone is harmful to the human body. After disinfection, the room needs to ventilate uh, for about 60 minutes. We recommend to use it for cabinets, disinfections. There are two types of control methods available. Uh, use UVC sterilizer light, 360 degree wider beam angle. It completely removes odors and dust particles, effectively improving your living environment. The widened and thickened base for more stable standing now i have videos on actually patreon and the subscribe star so if you want to watch those videos i cannot show them here here on youtube because of course they would get uh, a copyright strike and number two that i suggest that you get this is the molecule mini air purifier with pico purification technology Link will be in the description and in the comment section. Molecule Air Mini uses photoelectronic oxidation, PICO, nanotechnology to destroy viruses, VOC, allergens, bacteria, and mold. Designation for small rooms up to 250 square feet. Ideal for studio apartments, kids, bedrooms, and home offices. Smart and connected. Molecule Air Mini, easy to control using its one-touch uh, interface for added convenience. You can connect it to your Wi-Fi and control it remotely using your iPhone or Android app. Optimo with five fan speeds to choose from. You can customize your purification needs from whisper quiet to boost. Portable with its easy oh, wool feet felt handle molecule air mini can easily carry from places anywhere in the home no ozone no worries not only does molecule air mini not emit ozone it destroys it recommended replacement for average use every six months automatic filter uh, refill delivery available uh, now uh, so you do the light not robot, but the light thing that are uh, the first thing that I uh, told you to get. And then when that's completely finished, and 
Then you put this into the room, and then the, uh, within minutes, you should be go able to go in there, uh, read the instructions as uh, how long it would take to uh, remove the ozone from the room. Now, uh, we have a report by Adrian Murray of Technology uh, of Business Reporter. Uh, robots use light beams to zap hospital viruses. Now, this has been reluctant to be reported, but finally that it is reported, it is now uh, trending in the news. Now, the robot first says, please leave the room, close the door, and start a disinfection. We already know why the robot is saying that, because the robot's going to admit ozone as a part of uh, what uh, she's going to do. Of course, the, the voice is of a female. It says it in Chinese as well. Uh, Simon Allison, vice president of UVD Robots, uh, tells uh, her, Adrian Murray, the reporter, as he demonstrates machine. Through a glass window, we watch as the self-driving machine navigates a mock hospital room where it kills microbes with a zap of ultraviolet light. Quote, we had been growing the business at quite a high pace, but uh, recently everything has, of course, skyrocketed the demand. I'm paraphrasing, says Chief Executive Per Jewel Nielsen. He says truckloads of robot have been shipped to China, uh, in particular the interior. Sales as well in, in Asia and Europe are also up. Quote, Italy has been showing a very strong demand, added Mr. Nielsen. They really are in desperate situation. Of course, we want to help them. Production has been accelerated and now it takes less than a day to make one robot at their facility in Odense, Denmark, third largest city and home to a growing robotics hub. Of course, I uh, suspected his uh, name was of uh, that sort of origin. Glowing like lightsabers, eight tubes emit concentrated UVC ultraviolet light. This destroys bacteria, viruses, and other harmful microbes by damaging their DNA and RNA so they can't multiply. It's also hazardous to humans, so we wait outside. The job is done in 10 to 20 minutes. Afterwards, there's a smell much like burnt hair. Quote, there are a lot of problematic organisms that give rise to infections, explains Professor Hans Jorn Kolmos, a professor of clinical microbiology at the University of Southern Denmark, which helped develop the robot. Quote, if you apply a proper dose of ultraviolet light in a proper period of time, then you can be pretty sure that you get rid of your organism. He adds, this type of disinfection can also be applied uh, to epidemic situations like the one we're experiencing right now. The robot uh, was launched in early 2019 following six years of collaboration between parent firm Blue Ocean Robotics and Odense University Hospital, where Professor Kolmos has overseen infection control, costing $67,000 or 53,370 uh, pounds. Each, the robot was designed to reduce the likelihood of hospital-acquired infection, a HALS, uh, which can be costly to treat and cause a loss of life. While there's been no specific testing to prove the robot's effectiveness against uh, the current situation, Mr. Nielsen is confident it works. Quote, and I'm paraphrasing because uh, I don't want to have the video delete it. The current situation is very simpler, similar to other viruses like MERS and SARS, and we know that they are being killed by UVC light, he says. Dr. Lena Sirik, an associate professor at University College, London, and an expert on molecular biology, agrees that UV disinfection robots can help fight uh, the current situation. Disinfection ro robots are no silver bullet, says Dr. Sirik, but, she adds, these machines provide an extra line of defense. We're in the run-up to having a lot of current situation parent, uh, patients 
and the various hospitals. I think it's wise to be on top of the cleaning regimes from an infection control point of view. To be fully effective, the UV needs to fall directly on a surface. If lightweights are blocked by dirt or obstacles, such shadow uh, areas won't be disinfected. Therefore, manual cleaning is needed first, which is what I was going to say about your home too. So make absolutely sure that your house is clean, then do the light, then do the air purifier after that. Or, or you could do the air purifier before and after. UV light has been used for decades in water and air purification and used in laboratories. By combining them with autono autonomous robots is a recent development. American firm Xenix has LightStrike, which has to be manually put in place and delivers high-intensity UV light from a U-shaped bulb. Now, let me say, I'm mentioning these companies' names. Uh, if you are in the realm of investing in companies, you might want to take a look at these companies. So, that is company Xenix, uh, which has light strike. The company has seen a surge in orders from Italy, Japan, Thailand, and South Korea. Xenix says numerous studies show that it's effective at reducing hospital-acquired infections and combining so-called superbugs. In 2014, one Texan hospital used it in cleanup after the... Uh, I don't know if I can say that word either. More than 500 healthcare facilities, mostly in the U.S., have the machine. In California and Nebraska, it has already been put to use sanitizing hospital rooms where the current situation patients receive treatment, the manufacturer says. In China, where the situation began, there has been an adoptive adoption of new technology to help fight the disease. The nation is already the highest spender in drones and robotic systems, according to a report from Global Research from IDC. Leon Chow, senior researcher manager at ICDC China, says robots have been used for a range of tasks, primarily disinfection, uh, delivery of drugs, medical devices, and waste removal, and temperature checking. Quote, I think this is a breathtaking breakthrough for greater use of robotic, both for hospitals and other public places, says Mr. Zhao. However, space in hospitals to deploy robots and acceptance by staff are challenges, he says. The current situation has spurred homegrown Chinese robotics companies to innovate. Shenzhen-based Yaobot was already making autonomous robots and quickly adapted its technology to make a disinfection robot. Quote, we're trying to do something to help, like everyone here in China, says Yaobot's Kimin Guan. The startup adapted its existing robotic base and software, adding thermal cameras and UVC emitting bulbs. Quote, for us, technically, it's not as difficult as you imagine. Actually, it's like Lego, says Mr. Guan. It has been uh, supplied factories, offices, and airports, and hospitals uh, in China. Quote, it's running right now in the luggage hall, checking body temperatures on the, on the day, and it goes uh, uh, virus killing during the night, he says. However, the robot's efficiency hasn't yet been evaluated. Meanwhile, plant closures and other restrictions to curb uh, this current situation has hampered getting parts. Quote, the lack of one single component, and we cannot build a thing, as Mr. Guan, though he notes that things have improved in the last couple of weeks. There are not many good things to say about epidemics, says Professor Colmas, but it has forced industry to find new solutions. And that is the current robot report and world situation. And I, I hope that you take a look at the two things that I have linked. And like I said, if you want to see the videos going over those things, those are available on Patreon and subscribe. Sorry. Thank you all for watching. Thumbs up the video and make sure to subscribe. 
Uh, thank you all for watching.